Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's stream. It is a Saturday. I completely forgot. Um, I don't know why I forgot it was a Saturday. It's literally the chillest day I've had. Um, hope everyone's doing well. I'm Al, if you're new here. And if you're not new here, well, actually, if you're both, um, you'd know that I'm eating right now. Um, if you guys are in here, let me know what you've eaten today. Also, tell me how your day's been. Let's hop into this game. Um, Mac Payne 3. I have no idea what to expect with this. Um, but I'm excited, to say the least. <clears throat> it just seems like a lot of fun to me. Oh yeah, Rockstar Game Services has to come up. Ooh, I thought I had one. It was stuffy. I really have no idea what to expect with this, uh, honestly. <coughs> I thought toggle would mean turn it off, but it's what it is. Um, start the campaign from the beginning. Let's get into it. Let's play medium. Yeah, let's do medium. Oh shit. I didn't think about subtitles at all. Ah, we'll see. Maybe I did. <laughs> so I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. <laughs> Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities. Rich parasites with delusions of humanity. 
the kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha, look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a co-capital do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> it's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. <laughs> oh, shit. Things had gone from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Me and you. Clear. You got the floor? Sure. Right, look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. Nice. And I just finished my rice. Let's go. It was time to choose a nasty fall or a bullet to the head. Where is he? Where'd he go? I had to turn off that sensitivity because Jesus Christ. Controls. Mouse. Yeah, turn up. Six. There we go. Um. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. I like that he has active holes in him. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped not about to be thrown off it. Shit. It might have been stupidity, drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Gotta do it. There we go. <clears throat> now that was clean. Tranquila, tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Okay, you need a hand? No, you. 
Where the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gonna go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. Imagine the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Yep. Yeah. There we go. They weren't waiting on my side. Ah, painkillers are still here. It's two. F5. Maybe. Can I have five at all? It hasn't said anything, so maybe not. Okay. Let's do this for now. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. What did I just do? Why did they add that? What the fuck? <laughs> Even in my mind, there's a bit much. Is it this one? No. I mean, you know. Masculino? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I had to move quick, or Bronco's next charitable donation would be to the worms. <laughs> to the worms! Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive. Mm. Almost as much as I did. It's two. It's one more. Damn. Flashing buttons. Nice. Oh, so they flash now. Sick. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. <laughs> you thought you was slick. Nah, this game's fun as hell. What the fuck? I hope my computer doesn't like overheat. Anything in the cars? Nothing. Nada. Zilch. I done them enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. That's for clues. Oh. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is that the bad guys know who to kidnap. Sorry, I opened the window. Just to make sure this room gets some vent. Another parking <laughs> lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Uh, boom. 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 Sorry, bro. Anyway. Damn, I took him out. <laughs> that was a guess. Uh, 
Uno, due. Wait. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Fazendo a justiça local. Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, é. cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ah, me ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. Eu não posso dizer nada. Você fez bem, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. Commando Sombra? So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. A different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R and R. The only way I knew how. I was ready for bed. <laughs> it's definitely a rock star game. <laughs> Chapter two already? Interesting. A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! <laughs> Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm. Spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> You know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> 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 I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working <coughs> far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. I would have 
old, okay. but you know how this didn't want it to bother you. Okay. Hey, Marcel. Marcel. I think I might have an interesting investment for your brother. Well, call him up, homie. I haven't I'm seen him for a while. Up. Last week was fashion week. My God. Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh, yeah, I know Anna. This game's crazy. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. Got one, one there, got Uzi. Those cars go past me. get to the girls crazy. soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their heads or a tag on their toes. All right, let's get through here. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. <laughs> Oh. There had to be another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. They do. This game makes me feel like really, really invincible.
shit. Damn, they got me. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians, some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual, scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. Nice. Okay. Probably was dead, sadly. It's one. an accident. <sighs> okay. All the weapons around here are fine. Uh, I'm glad that the um time was a luxury I couldn't afford. I could see the lobby on the other side. I'm glad that the the white thing for when he takes um, pills isn't super white anymore. Hey, Sao favorite bodyguard. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the girls. Got it. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. I can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Damn. Son of a bitch. This one. And then there's you. Idiot. Painkillers in here. Ah, don't shoot, por favor. You an American? Sure. <sighs> From Steel, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Detling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight at a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's <laughs> playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. <laughs> it's on fabric. It looked loud and expensive <laughs> enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure <laughs> knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. All right. Oh. Jagger! 
Que porra você tá fazendo? Como assim? Você tá com algum problema? Cara? Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Aqui por causa das meninas do branco. Tá irmão? Ele não, não tem nada a ver é. com isso. Oi, tá aí, mano. Eu tô pouco me fudendo com essa porra. Tá maluco, meu? Pra que você fez isso? Bora, vou matar todo mundo, vai. That was embarrassing. Anyway. I'm using this gun. <laughs> they were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. Okay. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing my... <laughs> Did I hit him? I hit him. Oh, Where's the other one? There we go. Cool. And then. There we go. Yeah, this game's insane. I really like it. People may have had their issues, but that doesn't mean I, um, I can't enjoy things. <laughs> this wasn't the time to be second guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose. <laughs> Losing my day. <clears throat> I couldn't remember nice. the last time I'd done drugs in a nightclub. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? I can't remember the last time I did drugs at a nightclub. Yeah. <coughs> they were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a middle class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. I <laughs> said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, the Marcelo. But he's here now. Now don't worry about me, homie. I'm just a guy paying you lots of money to protect. You. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, oh, there they are. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. She's making a run for it. Woo! Swing it around. Move, you're gonna lose her. Now look down. There we go. Nice. This one.
Oh shit, huh? Okay, cool. So many effects on screen at all times, it's so weird. flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. Let's get it on. Ciao. Good. Ah, if only you survived. Shit. There we go. Jesus. Almost took me out. So far, I've died once each level, I think. Okay. Let's get back with the revolver. Let's do this dive. using the cover more, I'm not used to doing that. <laughs> Got the revolver back, thank you. Oof. 
There we go. Oop. There we go. Jesus. There we go. That's the stuff. All right. The odds on GF <sighs> still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god awful performance review. I'm thinking of increasing the quality, but I don't kind of want to do that just because of two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached everything with about as little preparation as I did. It was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. How my computer is. I don't want it to overheat what, like during stream, but if that's what's going to happen, it might be just what happens. <laughs> <clears throat> Wasted enough time. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Basil's where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Cole! Giovanna! Oh! What are you doing? Giovanna! <laughs> Hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Paso's was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone. And part of me wished I was too. Uh. choice do we have we have never paid out ransoms before but I don't know I don't like the feeling of this what about you Max I don't know uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations I, I know people who are but they're in America we don't have time for America I know you're right Marcelo it's not like I don't have the money to pay father made a lot <laughs> of money we have always been targets we all know that but much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? <laughs> Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. No idea. It's probably that street gang trying to get a new... I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just want right. my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them.
Sem fazer barulho, sem fazer cagada, hein? Show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Shit. Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds <laughs> didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. Came from long range. You were well armed. Oh, shit. I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. Oh. I thought I thought he was the guy that got shot a minute ago. You okay? Yeah. All right. Let's go. There's got to be a first aid kid around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message. Trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Shit! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Man, I don't have all day. Oh, really? You don't? The bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. <clears throat> so this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Still with me back there, brother? <sighs> Hold on! Wait here a second! Oh, not a problem. Come on, I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <laughs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. <clears throat> You okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Mm. Thank you. As it turned like a fucking coat. Right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on. Come on. Ah. All right. Don't be a pussy. So That's now? saying everything in this game. Make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Comando Sombra their money. And make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back to such a shape. Come on, come on. 
Eu sabia que essa porra ia dar merda. Quem foi o filho da puta que teve essa ideia de estádio? Fala pra mim. Alright. Oh shit. That's not what I wanted to do. So what am I, the button pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. <laughs> good job. Just another day at the office, huh? You should have known this wouldn't end well. Uh, didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. How's he going? What we got here? Do you have the money? Hmm. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Seu filho da puta. O que aconteceu lá embaixo? Quem nos atacou? Quem são os franco atiradores? Faz. Não estou pra brincadeira, filho da puta. Tells me we're heading in the right direction. <laughs> Straight on here, I'll cover you. Oh, Uzi. Come on, let's move. Let's swap this one out for the Uzi. getting shot at who the hell had tipped these guys off i didn't know what to think anymore this town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room Aqui, peça a porta de pressa. Pariu! Ah! Ei, peraí, não me deixa aqui sozinho! Ah! Ah! O que, seu viado do caralho? Cadê a porra do dinheiro? Ah! Ah! Cadê uma bala na sua cabeça, filha da puta? Ei! Ei, morre, favelado, filha da puta! Vocês devem ter ido por aqui. Abre a porta. Isso é bom suficiente? You tell me. I don't think so. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 
cash. I've had enough of these fools. Pick up, pick up, pick up! Don't you think? Look at this blackjack. <laughs> this is high end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. Good. Jesus I Christ. I book on dumb ideas. But Passos sure wasn't afraid to quote from him. Mm. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, I hope that saved a decent spot. About the money, okay. But I knew what would happen to Fabiana if the wrong people got paid. Yes, oh well. Right, let's go. In, 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 in. Thank you. Huh? You're... Just a baby, bro. This fuck am I right? For us, the blood money was still bleeding. The smell in this place reminded me of how long it had been since I'd had any food. A drinker eats when he's loaded. A real drunk eats when he's not. Why do I always get to go first? Time to introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. Let's go. It was getting annoying. <laughs> the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Tampa, bro. That kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids are like expensive toys. Here, put this on. A little better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, right. Don't speak too soon, brother. <laughs> Looks like it's coming from the stands. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. <clears throat> Stay here, cover me. I'll go after him. Hey, keep your headset on. I'll deal with the guys on the other side of the fence. You take the others. Whatever you say. Oh. Got him. Woo! There we go. Fuck. Oh, 
That guy said, oh! Oh, I died. <laughs> uh, that's probably a switch weapon, to be honest. Come on. God damn it. I did that before. Come on. Boss. Oh, it's you. Fucking hell. Let's find good cover. I just need to be smart about it. I wish I had like the F5 function like I did in the last game, but <laughs> well, last two games, but yeah. There's a lot more personality in this one. Oh shit. Oh my god. One more. Assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. Yeah. Looks like some kind of maintenance elevator. What are you doing, Mac? Where are you headed? 
I'm going up. I don't know. I guess I'm nowhere nice. Sign of the money? <laughs> nope. Just people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right. In the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company. I don't know. I'm looking for something that ain't here, I guess. Trying. Still in this section. Wait. Hang on. What's happening, Passos? There's a whole gang up ahead of my way. I'm almost out of ammo, bro. I can't run for it. All right. I'll try to clear you some space. Let's try. Going back in, bro. There we go. <sighs> Stop watching shots shooting, bro. There we go. <sighs> he looked just like that, um, whatever guy. The guy who lived in the country in GTA 5. I can understand some people's issue with it and the general tedium of it. One, two. Ooh. There we go. On top of you. What? Other side. <laughs> All right, I'm making a run for it. <laughs> that was too close. I'm getting in time before any more show up. <laughs> I'm clear, Max. Damn, bro. That wasn't fun. Listen to me, you head for the chopper. We need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Bit late for a plan, pal. Ah, God damn it, Max. Oh, shit. Now we got another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch. Okay. 
There's a lot more set pieces in this one than in the other two. So I can understand people being kind of iffy about this formula, but it is what it is. was like Fort Knox. Hey, Passos. Passos. I've got you on the security camera. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere in this goddamn stadium. Oh, Jesus. What's going on there? I think the guys that came to rob us are coming to finish the job. Remind me again, who are these fine gentlemen? Some kind of paramilitaries. I don't know. Paramilitaries? Right-wing guns for hire, ex-cops military. I don't know. They can handle weapons. What's going on now? Guy's pleading for his life. He's saying that Fabiana is being held at the docks of the Chete River. Jesus, they shot him. He did nothing. Well, there goes the money. Now we've lost the wife and three million bucks. The boss will be giving us a raise at this rate. Yeah, that's messed up. That guy in the IT tower. I'll meet you at the chopper. I'm gonna make a run for the light rig. I had a hole in my second favorite drinking arm, and the only way we were likely to get Fabiana back now was in installments. <laughs> Whoever our uninvited guests were, I was about done playing soldiers. All right. There was only one way up there. Okay, I'm going up. Good. Take it quick. Believe me, I ain't gonna drag this out. Oh shit! Where'd you come from? Sao Paulo's most hallowed place of worship. <coughs> Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me. Looking back long after I'd run out of time to fix them. Whew. I see you. You're right on top of him. Jump the railing. This is a bad idea. Jesus, that's pretty sick. I got the best. I know. You know how to make an entrance, bro. Now let's get the hell out of here. Seems to find us, Max. 
sure. Trouble finds us the same way you found me. Slumped in a bar. Drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you look at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives, and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony. His dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously. I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, old man, man. old man. It's a nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old He's man. Very fucking funny. That is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up all cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Oh. Hey. How you got involved with killers? Oh. <laughs> I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, don't disrespect my family. You ain't got the right. Hey, don't, you, don't, don't take that from this punk tone. I ain't taking nothing from him. God hasn't already deprived him of. But I'm oh, a star! Anytime. Now say you're Shut sorry. You say fucking you're sorry. has been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket <laughs> dipshit cop cunt. Don't act clever. Yeah, right. I will blow your look brains look all, all over this Fuck counter this every fucking way. Come on, Tony. Come on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun down now. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now get the fuck out of here before you get shot. I got you. Who the fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm fuck off. Get you, you motherfucker. I'm back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I to it. Yeah? Stay right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. Ethan. You don't remember me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from, all over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Saúde. Cheers. Well, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something. But I'm full. Saúde. Cheers. You faggot still got something to say to me? Sir. Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Jesus Christ, that's saying everything. Good for you. Now fuck off. Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole. No dick, asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you. You spray tan Guido douche. What you girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. 
Let's see a little. There. There we go. Woo! Isn't that a loud one? I need the window open on my computer will kill itself. I'm trying to not do that. Thank you. Any exit? That was very badly handled. Oh, you were this close and you missed? I got the feeling this, uh, it's gonna be a lot of muted audio in this. A lot of N word. Well, there was an N word, there was an S word, there was an F word. My first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse. <sighs> if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else, I should have realized partnerships start as they mean to go on. I think I'm gonna go for like another hour, or maybe two. Yeah, two more hours, I think. It stopped. I told you it stopped. We're fine. What do you mean we're fine? Come on, huh? we're not fine. Oh, we're not fine. What's the boss gonna? Oh, 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 oh. Saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where are you? Huh? This way? Setting me up for a fall. Something told me to stay put and trust him. Nice. corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? 
Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. Right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. Nah. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops <coughs> are too high. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. You! I want on the roof! You! I want on every <laughs> About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne! Yeah, that Max looks about right. Payne! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. And I'll do it again. When did I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Droga! Ah, fuck me! Minkia! I got the precision of a cheetah. Easy. Afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh. The joys of hygiene! <laughs> Come to me, you sinners, you evil shit. men. You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be. <laughs> it was hard seeing Brewer go out like that. No. But I got to thinking, it was what he was waiting for. A chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apo It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. He was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. <laughs> he was gonna blow up this whole place. Or he could, anyway. Or another gun. Oh shit. You guys are really bad at this. Up and out. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there.
Where'd he go? Oh. Again, there we go. Oh shit! Real questions. Gunfire over Hoboken. Felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is, like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Now what? Just go down. Pulaski. Here we go. I don't know how to climb shit, so... Oh, it's just push. Here we go. Oof! Honestly, I'm enjoying this so far. This game is very fun to me. There, brother. I need his help. Five minutes ago. Oh, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. Ah, fuck. They're always one step ahead. They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. Oof, they got me. Impressive. Down here for me at all. No. Why are you crouching, man? Fancy seeing you here. Two hundred and fifty already. We gotta wait down to the street. We do. Come on. These 
chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me <coughs> clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? so much in the way for a rainy day how's this look See why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. You want a job yet, Max? Okay. Five already? Miles up the Tiente River. Max, that's what I got was saying. I think they're a group called the Crashapre. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. Government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why they do it? <coughs> Bust us at the stadium. Uh, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. Just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. I know there's a harbor about a half a mile up. She's gotta be there. This is a known Commando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. Well, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. Ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? 
So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. Cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere. This looks like Call of Duty mixed with, uh, just cause for. I wish his gun had a silencer on it. Okay. Here I was, <laughs> some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. idea what lay ahead and as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else I knew this was where I had to be I felt responsible I just had to fix the situation right here I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Whew. 
Oh shit. What? <laughs> yeah, be sad about it. Think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. Oh, hey, just swap shoulders. Okay. Anyway, um, controls. Uh, keyboard. Uh, thank you. Roll dash. Roll. Geez, to roll. Okay. Sprint is left control. I didn't know any of that. He's melee. Oh, B is toggle attachment. Okay. There we go. This guy. <laughs> yeah, give me that. There we go. I stop doing that. I need to keep pressing E. Just miss them. They've been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise. right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. <laughs> but I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. Yeah, I'm not doing what they think they're doing. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not connected. That shit clean. Oh. This way? That's I know the way it came. Would take in Fabiana through the garage door. We yeah. had to find a way to open it. Oh, it's this room. It seems Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Circle of this low rent hell. Oh, shit. by that. Okay, weak. Anybody else? No. Oh, then. Hmm? Oh, this game is glitching. Seriously. in a row, huh? Oh, shit. Oh. I hadn't 
seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. Yeah. Going across the docks. Huh. That was a guess. <laughs> Since we're getting serious. gonna hop out. Oh. 
It's vengeance at this point. Why do you always show just after?
There we go. Anymore? Fucking look over here. There we go. They got an armada out here. They really do. <laughs> oh shit. Oh hell yeah. This game's so cool. Slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness.
Get up, bro. Max, wake up, Max. Come on, get up, you big bastard. Come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? <laughs> huh? you, you really know how to give a place that great lived in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go. Come on. <sighs> Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. <laughs> Chapter six. A damn, a dog and a something I'm else. Not feeling so good. Bon dia. Estão aí? O que, que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, Tudo bem. não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Mm. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bon. Até logo, Sr. Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. Mm -hmm. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool. Just like the rest of my friends. Com licença, tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. <laughs> What's that going to sound? Meu Deus! Sim, sí, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that! We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que posso. Nice. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Uh, sir, let us handle this. If you stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. 
I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <laughs> Come over there as well. Okay. Woof. Oh shit. I didn't know whether it was HR or G to swap. Come on. We need to get you to the server room. Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go. Come on. Okay. I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. <laughs> What a hero! Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Sorry, I just have to let that play out. No such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. Oh, we still have. Are we going, Max? Let's go. Server room is just past those cubicles. Same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotcha Prado, the black badge. Right wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? <laughs> One, two, three. Nice try. Oh. Go. Hey, we're good to go. Let's get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone. Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless, but I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey, I just, I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco <coughs> in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here, hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. <laughs> Oh, Sam. Oh, 
Come on. Sound too much. this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. He should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Uh, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. <clears throat> the security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. Seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. All right. What weapons do I have? Pistol, Uzi, uh, pick this up. Max! Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. <laughs> Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. I'm a self-righteous pain in the ass, but I'm not above embezzling office supplies. <laughs> Graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they have the common touch. Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I got him. Final. 
looked like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I don't think that's the case. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 he was dead clean one shot a professional job I began to look for clues I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing someone in this building was trying to keep things low-key but then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall I think it's the sun. It's gotta be the sun. <laughs> Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. <gasps> Ah, uh, not the couch. <clears throat> Only blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. Contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. Shit. If I survived this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. <laughs> Kid hadn't made it. Fuck. Fuck! I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. No one would be rebooting his system. Poor bastard. Fuck, man. I ain't playing these games. Jesus. Rodrigo or not, Fabricast Bronco is falling apart quite literally. Ah! 
despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. Huh? Upstairs is fun. The last bunch of guys who tried to kill me might have had an idea. for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take <laughs> shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Uh, uh, Where's Fabiana? Uh, Fabiana Bronco, where is she? Uh, the Commando Sombra got her. Up the hill. Uh, and it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Uh, uh, uh. dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me, too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. <laughs> then I would see who shot me. Why you got mirror on the floor? It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was gonna have to do. I was facing in the right direction. Tell you 
ligando, hein? Alô? Pro Victor. Max? Uh -huh. Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I work my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice or more. Right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. <coughs> Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow. Like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely getting copyright stricken. I had no idea where the hell I was gonna go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. <laughs> you lost, kid. Speak English? Uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I don't know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? <laughs> Isso. Jesus. This kid's gonna kill me. At least I found myself a tour guide. Way I see they built this place so nicely. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between, hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I care to admit. I hope this doesn't get copyright stricken, but it probably will. I had stumbled into some kind of street party. 
This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered. Sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. Continua andando, caralho! Que porra é essa que você tá fazendo aqui? Como que você sai entrando aqui assim? Anda, anda, vai pra lá! O que você tá fazendo aqui? O que você fazendo aqui? Eu tô te perguntando. Eu te chamei aqui, porra! Easy, pal, easy. Ah, então. Você é americano de merda. Ah, look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão pra eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Ah, desculpa, amigo, por favor. Passa tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele, pega o dinheiro dele. Ah, é lojão, hein? Passa aqui. Dá logo. Tá logo, da puta. Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. Agora tá fora da... All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. Real. How you doing, Aaron? Stay off the sauce, and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Yeah, uh, let's get up there. Bro, climb, please. Okay. Is you don't want to climb? How you doing, Aaron? How's your evening going? I'm doing all right. I'm experiencing. One thing I'd learned since I've been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball, and for kids like these, was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. Uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. This is my first time experiencing Max Payne 3. I'm having fun so far. It feels simpler than the last two, but it doesn't mean it's not fun. I'm a little lost. Perdido? Onde é tu? Tá no lugar errado, rapaz. Não compreende. I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't going to help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. Uh, how have things been for you lately, uh, Aaron? How's your evening been? Well, how's your day been, to be honest? like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Hey, are you lost? In more ways than I could possibly explain. I know you. At the disco with the gun. Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Uh, Andrew Dudling from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? Well, I'm uh, looking for someone. What are you doing here? Oh, we, we came to help the cause. See, after I retired, my wife, she said I had to do something. And well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk. And well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. Yeah, oh, it's simply wonderful giving back. Whole family does it. Heck, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. Ain't granted steel, ain't San Paulo, but you know, I seen things. And people are the same everywhere, good, bad, and different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman about 28, rich? She was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I gotta get back at it. All right, 
I'll say a prayer for you. Another life lesson I didn't want. Oh yeah, if you ever played any of the Max Payne games, uh, if you have, let me know. If you haven't, have you ever been interested? Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have to censor some of this. I hoped this classy looking estate. Please God, please God. So I could call Passos. Either that or a gun, so I could shoot myself and save these kids to bother. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> God, okay, I'm out. I'm out of it. <laughs> oh boy. Went out of a party, <laughs> gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect like general nudity in these games because there wasn't any prior uh, graphics. Uh, is there anything I can do for censorship? <laughs> Please? Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I am so sorry. I have another like 25 minutes left doing this as well, so we'll see what happens. I hope there's no naked ladies as we get as we continue. The fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. Let's get through this. I was walking into another not so welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was going to get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I just shot up their favorite skin joint. Let's try. Ah, oh, shit. Who got me? Like zero health items. This is a disaster. Oh my god, it's glitching out. Going up there. Going down? No. Oh. 
Any health? Any health? Fuck! I'm getting tough. I respect them highly, but Jesus Christ. Ceilings. I say ceilings worse. Now I have to come down here. So these guys can come up. Uh-huh. Boom, boom. Yep. Oh. I just want to get through this level and then... Really? Yeah, they stopped me that themselves. That wasn't even me. <laughs> I guess I'll do. I just find some fucking health. I 
was getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me. Like I was looking through another man's eyes. I needed to focus. Come on. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. Difficult. I don't know, 15 minutes. I can't tell if that's the smell of weed outside of my place, but um, it smells like shit weed. Something, give me something. Nothing. Shit. Nice. I was running oh, this and becoming too clear headed. Fabiana's market value is falling by the second. I had to get to Serrano before he dumped his stock. Come on. Oh 
almost close to the end of stream. About ten minutes. These bastards. I just want to finish this level. Tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano. Well, maybe that's one on the next one. We'll see. Moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. This man is sober right now. There was no need to announce my arrival in that part of town. I'd drawn more than enough attention already. Sure shot earlier than that. Soccer had gotten Claudio away from the favela, but it hadn't gotten him far enough. I couldn't imagine his death had done much to boost the CS's approval ratings in that part of town. You. There we go. Man's chilling. These guys out. Up down here. Beach. Are you serious? Christ. Yeah, I'm not gonna survive this, I think. Unless this guy's got like extra pain colors or some shit. <laughs> Ugh. Go. Any pain colors? No. But you guys are useless. Oh, pain color. I take back my statement. I wish I could like freely save like I could in the older games, but it is what it is. Fuck. Oh. oh shit. I didn't even know that was an option. Stop whistling, man. I to dive through that window. Woo! Anyone else?
Who else is shooting? Oh. Come on. I know there's more of you. What was the point in that? That wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay. <sighs> they told me the favelas were full of drugs. Don't be with, 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 don't be with. like quicklime and kerosene, super <laughs> stronger and deadlier than crack, easily marketed to the poor and desperate, all in all, a fine, honorable way to earn a living. Fine. Don't be wet, 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 don't be wet. I couldn't find any clues in this place, so I decided to do my bit for the drugs trade. Let's get through this. <clears throat> That's why we started. As far as I remember. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. 
Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. <sighs> It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me. Mm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just shoot me, just shoot me. Nobody? Okay. Oh, it's you. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Marcello <laughs> had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! He could have dived in and shot all five of them. Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her. Don't you. Okay. Don't you kill her. Don't you kill her. Don't you kill her. again with all hell breaking loose around me standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect oh shit I didn't think like we go so smoothly into that a short time <laughs> by now she had been dead longer than I knew her I still hadn't really forgiven myself for the Mona business but I knew that was just grief the insanity that comes with losing the life you had built Michelle I missed her with every part of my being. I hated the world for not killing me with her. And I hated myself for allowing this to happen to her and our little girl. But I knew I had to leave town. Excuse me. Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't think he was about to tell me I'd won the lottery. All right. Back to Passos, we'd be in a slightly better position to handle this situation. Actually, I think that I think we're just gonna stop here. Um, just because it's getting late for me and I have stuff to do. Um, so I will. Yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. If I'm correct, yeah, tomorrow. Um. 
to finish off what we started here today. Um, I'm genuinely enjoying this game. I just hope tomorrow's game is... It, I hope it's as long, but I hope it's not too long. Anyway, it's like, it's like a six hour game from everything I've seen. Um, I've been shown. Uh, just in terms of its duration. So tomorrow, hopefully, is the finale. And by that, I mean I will not stop <laughs> playing it until I finished it. So it's out of the way. Because we have plans next week. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a great